Another common example of a selection bias is the healthy worker bias or the healthy worker effect. So this is an issue for people who study occupational cohorts. So people who look at the effect of exposure to um, toxins in the work environment. And this bias makes it look like the people who were exposed to toxins are healthier than people who were not exposed to toxins. So this shows our study population. So we have a cohort and we are comparing the cohort of exposed workers to the general a cohort from the general population. And We've got 50,000 years of uh, person time for our exposed workers with 500 cases, resulting in an incidence of one case per 100 years. And in the general population, we've got 500,000 uh, person time years. And um, we have 7,000 cases and then 1.4 cases per 100 years. And so what you see is that um, despite the fact that the exposed workers are exposed, um, presumably more than the general population, we have a lower incidence of the disease in the exposed population. And so this is the healthy worker effect. So why does this occur? So the reason that this occurs is because <clears throat> the general population sample includes both workers and non-workers. <clears throat> Excuse me. And the So what we see here is that the non-workers have a much higher um, incidence of the disease than do the workers. And um, because of that, because the general population sample included both workers and non-workers, this falsely elevated the incidence rate um, as, as compared to just looking at workers. So just looking at workers would be the appropriate population to compare to the exposed workers because non-workers are less healthy than workers because being ill is one reason why these people are not working. So this is a type of selection bias that can occur in a cohort study. And again, it's um, the same as the selection bias we talked about in the case control study. It's when the um, groups are linked to the exposure. So when the um, likelihood of the exposure differs, when the groups are selected in a way that is dependent on the exposure, then that f has a false representation of the exposure disease relationship in each of the groups and therefore a, an inaccurate estimate from the study about the relationship between the exposure and disease.